And what we discovered, fortunately after I'd got my PhD, was that my theory was partially right and partially wrong. That, um, you know, a microdose of, of, of anything is not going to be very good as a placebo because you'll be able to tell. So what was surprising to us was that the lower doses, 25, 30, 40, 50 milligrams, did indeed um, cause a certain amount of confusion. But when you're working with PTSD patients and you get this activation from the drug, but you don't have enough uh, of the fear reduction, it made people uncomfortable. So we showed that the people that got therapy with no MDMA did better than the people that got therapy with the low doses of MDMA. Yeah. But it meant to us that this dose of 75 was indeed more therapeutic than we anticipated. So there was no real sweet spot where there was a dose of MDMA that didn't either make people uncomfortable and reduce the effectiveness compared to therapy with no MDMA, or it tipped over into being very effective.